Bobby D here. I am doing well. I hope you are doing very well. So, um, welcome to, um, um, <laughs> welcome to Dumb and Dumber. Um, no, uh, we just finished, um, the first part of chapter three, man. We just, we just got there to, to chapter three. We did a lot, spent an inordinate amount of time fishing, but you know what? There was a great benefit to that. You know, I couldn't figure out how to stop them from fishing until, you know, way after when I should have. Every time I caught a fish, his health core got a plus 20, man. His health core took a big jump. So even though I spent, like I said, an, an inordinate amount of time fishing, uh, it was very beneficial. Also, every time I threw back a fish, he got a... Um, um, a, a positive move on his, um, what do you call it, uh, honor. So I want to check where his honor is. Um, I want to give a real quick mention to Space Cowboy. Uh, Space Cowboy did a cool thing, man, in the comments. He, he told me who, uh, who owns every horse. And I just think that was cool, Space Cowboy. Thank you, man. Uh, so, another, so, for example, Count goes to Dutch. Silver Dollar is Hosea's horse. Uh, Brown Jack belongs to Bill Boaz, to Javier, Old Boy, to John, uh, Baylock, to Micah, etc., etc. So I thought that was pretty cool, Space Cowboy. And I also think Space Cowboy is a really cool name, man. That's, you know, Steve Miller Band. If you guys never heard the song Space Cowboy, shame on you and listen to it. But um, since that's taken, I think I'll just uh, change my name to the Gangster of Love. <laughs> Listen to the song, you'll understand. Um, uh, um, that's probably taken too, though. All right, so um, we so we did the fishing. We met Sadie, but you know what? We already knew Sadie because Sadie was in the very, very, very first um, um, a mission that you do in the game. She was the wife of the fella that got um, um, murdered by the O'Driscolls. Uh, when they took over their cabin there and their property, and then we came in and uh, cleaned that mess up. We took care of the old Driscolls, and we rescued Sadie. I didn't realize that. Uh, some of y'all told me that in the comments. So um, that was really, uh, really cool, and I really like Sadie. I really do. She, she turned out to be uh, quite the gal. Um, and uh, what else did we do? Oh, we, uh, we, we did Sean. Sean's uh, um, home robbery, and we picked up a double action pistol, a dual action pistol. I I don't know how the game's going to treat that. Um, the way they treated the Morgans, uh, you know, they really disrespected the Morgan horse in this. Um, but if, if if they don't disrespect that uh, double action pistol, that should be better than the Mauser. Um, and possibly better than the Granger pistol that we have. Granger's pistol that we got on that, we got the we got his pistol from Granger. Um, so uh, I want to head into town and um, um, get that improved, you know, the rifling and all that, uh, and see how they treat that weapon. Um, let me get my big head out of there. Ha. <laughs> There we go. And um, I want to take a look at this honor system in Asian. Um, uh, some of y'all told me uh, double, uh, push down twice on the D-pad and it'll bring up the honor. Um, we'll give that a shot. And, um, but I want to see where my honor is because I don't know. It should be high. It should be, it should be on the, on the positive side. Uh, but I don't know. And you know what? I'm gonna have to pause and go get my eyeballs. Uh, I gotta put my eyeballs on. Okay, so here we are now. If I, oh wow. Ah, this is a huge improvement over the camp over there by uh, Valentine. Look at this. So if I push down twice on the D-pad, watch this, y'all. One, two. Oh, there's my honor. You're right. Hey, thanks, guys. Do it again. One, two. Where was it? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. 
Okay, one, two. All right, there it is. You see it? Uh, uh, is my face blocking it? Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're we're towards the good. We're, look at this. And why in the heck am am I way over here and not in my tent? Okay. Um. Real quick, like, um, I, I need to pause. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, plan for today. Um. Okay. Uh, before I I, I, I I didn't make one because I wanted to see um, what we have in here. So we've got Kieran. Kieran wants a, uh, to go on a fishing trip. And that was very beneficial, actually. We've got these dang um, strong arm missions, you know, loan sharking with straws. And I do want to avoid those. Uh, we've got this for Dutch. Um the grays. Uh, so I think I'm probably going to do this. That's Dutch asked you to sniff around. All right. I'm going to play some bloodhound. Do some bloodhound work over here at grays. Um, what's it doing now? Oh, um, I hit the B button. That's what it's doing. It's just doing what I told it to do. Uh, these are more of those collection. I'm a Margaret. Is this a collection for ding -a -ling? Margaret's Zebra. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Margaret. This is the dude who had the idea of a woman uh, wild animal tamer uh, for his circus, a little circus act. They had. He, doesn't, he couldn't find a woman to do it, so he dresses like a woman. And he... Uh, <laughs> we might do that. That might be fun. Um, all right, let me let me look at the other options. So so this is another strong arm deal, Dealy Bob. I'm gonna put those off because I really, it's such a drag doing these, doing those. Um, there's where I want to go. We want to get Flocko. So I think right now, Dutch. What does Dutch want? Weapons. I do want to get into town and uh, improve that. Oh, that's a strong arm. Dutch, Sheriff Gray asked you and Dutch to go back and see him sometime. Um, okay, so those are the two story <clears throat> progression ones that we have to do. Excuse me. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just thinking. So I'm going to pause this, get my eyeballs, and... Uh, Make a decision. I'll be right back, y'all. All right, I got my eyeballs on. So, um, um, what, what oh, 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 Dutch. I, is this a two-parter? Because I don't want it to be. Um, because <laughs> I really want to get to flock. Oh, man. All right, we'll do Dutch. Um, but first, we need to fancy up. Um, everybody in this town dresses really fine. And so, let's take a look at that. Uh, where is my place, man? Where's Arthur's? I, 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 gotta, I have to relocate. I have to get re-acclimated to where everything is in the There it is. Let's see what we have. I don't think we have much. I don't think we have anything fancy, but they all wear vests and uh, you know, he, he we need to we need to we need to tidy him up. Uh out vests. Buckskin. It's got a hole in it. That ain't too bad. Can we spin him around? A buckskin. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's got some tears in it. There we are. There we are. I think we'll put that on him. And then... Uh, okay, we need to get out of vests. That's better. Well, shirts. No. So if I, if I, that's better. 
There you go. If I put this shirt on him, what about the vest? Do I lose dress shirt? Equip. Choose to equip this French dress shirt. Save outfit. Equip. Well, let's equip it. Now, I want the vest. I do want the vest. Union suit. Um, there we go. There we go. Uh, pants. No. 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 He has terrible pants. They're all, they all, they're all beat up. They got patches on them and scratches and tears. Um, I guess the ranch jeans. Oh, that's not fancy enough. Um, crap. Um, no suspenders. Um, crap. Um, coats. No, oh, that ain't too bad. Everything he has is just worn, torn, and ragged. Montana coats for cold. No. Uh, it doesn't really go, does it? Um, that's for cold. Oh, man. Well, let's go to, let's just go to outfits and see what we got. This is a custom outfit I just made, huh? That's out. That's out. That's for cold. Hmm. Now, here we go. Um, it is a little worn and torn, though. Um, so right now we have this on him. I mean, that's better. And on the horse, we have we have this for when we go get Flacco. This actually, mm, I don't know, man. I think we'll just go with this, save it, and uh, we got these on the horse for when we go up north. That actually looks better uh, than what I just did. Uh, suspenders, pants, boots, shirts, vests, hats. Uh, let's get a better hat on him, maybe. The man just doesn't have any. You know what? I might need to buy some clothes for this guy. A purple hat band. <laughs> this is a big beaver rally hat. They're all worn and torn, man. We'll just leave him with his own hat. Ah, that's the best I can do for you, son. Oh, modify. What does that do? There we go, full. That's better. Adjust. Full. Boots. That's better. Hide them raggedy things. Okay, now, uh, boots. Can we get better boots on boots? Boots was uh, my dad's brother's uh, name or nickname. We don't have boots. Um... Uh, his real name was Roland, but everybody called him Boots. That's about as good as I can do, Arthur. Um, let's okay. Let's shave. Uh, well, let's pomade the hair, and let's get it. Oh, we don't really want to trim the hair. Let's do the. Uh, there we go. There we go. Nah, I think he fits in better with the, um, 
folks. Oh, you know what I want to do before we leave? Um, I want to cook up some food uh, so that I can store it, stow it, um, uh, for dead eye purposes. Um, is there a play? Is there should be a fire. Where, where I can um, do that. Now we can get some coffee with the girls here. Look how much his health is up. Can you see that? My head's blocked. No, there it is. His health went way up from fishing. Way up. Here we are. Another day. So are there. Is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember my old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> we won't but see seven years ever. On my adventures, I might not see seven you. more years. Thank you, Arthur. Okay, so we just, uh, we got to get her a mirror. Um, Jack wants a book and a thimble. And there was something else for somebody else. Um, Jolly good fellas. Easy there now. Um, I'm looking for that that the campfire where I can cook. That isn't it. Uh, there's a I like there's a lone Sadie. I do like Sadie. Um, all right, let's not flirt. Um, I, 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 where is that campfire where I can cook? You want to sit, Morgan? Javier wants to go fishing over there. That's what that fish thing is. Um, where can he cook at? I don't want to spend too much time around here. Somebody's going to get me into something. Um, I don't see it. Uh, there was at the other camp, we had a, a fire that we could cook at. Right, 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 right. I'm not, I'm not wrong. I know I'm not wrong. He does look a lot better now. Um, Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. The box. Well, you, honey, I can't even find a fire where I can cook, and you want me to try to find a box? Um, and I'm just... It was on the outskirts. This is it. Right here. Is this it? Can I cook? Please. Please. Oh, no, this is uh, Pearson's pot is going to go there eventually. Ah, uh, see, I don't know where anything is in camp, man. We got a whole new layout. Um, where is D Dutch's tent? That's where we can contribute. She wants us to put in some dough. How much do I have? I don't have that much, honey. Um, we can afford four dollars and twenty-seven cents. All right, that's it, man. Now be happy. I don't see where he can cook, so we'll just go talk to Dutch and get on with it. Oh, man. I know that's around here. But I just can't find it. That's just a... I don't think I can cook here. This is just for chatting. Maybe I can cook here. Spot here for you if you want. A sit. Well, I want to cook something, son. There's room here. You want to sit? You okay? Yeah. So tell me. 
Was that bad in Valentine? Bad enough to need to move, that's for sure. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sounds good. Um, chicken coop. Now, where'd Dutch go? I got a question mark. Am I gonna... See, the longer I stay here, the more white stuff comes up, the more white little side missions come up. Um, we're just gonna go straight to Dutch and get on with it. Where is he? Well, now he's disappeared. How many Dutch I have? Oh, I gotta go to town to, to meet him? I have to go to town to meet him. Very good. Then we can upgrade the uh, the pistol on the way. All right. Let's 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 mount up. Is that the fire? Is that the campfire I can cook at? Oh, for crying out loud! It's right by the horse where I could. I just could have come right over here. I don't want to rest by the fire. I think I have to rest first. And then it lets me cook. It does. Look at that bass. He looks good. Let's let's cook up some stuff that's going to help us um, with the dead eye. If we get in fights, and then he he has something to eat that will restore his cores. Stow it. Cook another. Can eat one. Let's hope for a better day. Another. All right, Lenny. What's that, Lenny? Stow it. And we should be good. We could cook some um, some succulent fish, apparently. We'll eat that. Cook another and stow it. Look at him. That's about as the nicest he's looked. I mean, as far as not having a bunch of raggedy clothes, you know. All right, so now we've got... Uh, food for replenishing our... Um, dead eye if we get into fights and I'm pretty sure uh, good old Dutch is going to do that he's going to get us in a fight yeah. there, girl. but he did say no weapons in town and does that mean that I can't upgrade this pistol here am I going to have to go all the way to Valentine there girl all right, girl. Okay, then, girl. All right. Let's head on to Dutch. Um, this way. Sean? I don't get to greet Sean. All right. That's yeah. right. I can't. What's the red? Why do I have a red dot? Did I bump into somebody? There was a red dot following me. Yeah. Oh, you know what I want to do? Hold on. I accidentally changed the view on the horse. And I think that's making it harder for me to control it. We want camera view. I actually, I inadvertently put it on horse. One of you in the comment sections uh, mentioned this. So let's put it back there on camera. And um, it should make it easier for me to steer. <laughs> That's where it was.
for the whole game, and then on the, the last episode, I inadvertently switched it. Hey there, mister. Let's get to town. I'm hoping I can go to the gunsmith and upgrade yep. that pistol. Uh, Dutch has got a rule that no guns in town, but we're not using it. I mean, I, I, I don't even know if there is a gunsmith in that. Here shooting. Is they robbing a train? Are they robbing this train over here? They are. Oh, gun. Get a gun, son. Oh, what is... I think they're robbing this train, man. I think the Lemonade Gang is, is robbing this train. Anyone moves, I go blink before I shoot you. Hurry up in there. Don't. Let's get out of here Please. before the cavalry goes. Where are they? We can be heroes here. If anyone comes after us, they'll be met with a sword. <laughs> Another one behind me. Where is he? see him. I made a mess of this. Where is he? Mess of that. Where's that food I just cooked? Where's the food I just cooked? Um, where's the food? I cooked food. There it is. Lemonade riders, raiders. Well, I made a mess of that. Oh no, I killed a innocent. Or was he already killed? I did not kill an innocent, did I? I hope not. get off of that. I don't know where there is a fence around here. No, get <laughs> buttons. Get off. He's so close to the wagon. If I push Y to loot him, he wants to get on the wagon. Dynamite. Hear more shooting?
Already have enough brandy, apparently. Can he jump up in there? He can't jump up in there. another time when I can drive this train without getting in trouble, but um, let's get on to Dutch. I mean, I could drive the train into, <clears throat> into town. Well, that's where we're going. Let's drive the train into town. get out of the train. How do I get out? So we tell me how to get off the train. How do I get off the train? Like that? No, I won't drive it. I won't get off. do that strong arm thing. I just want to hook up with Dutch. Mister? Now that's a fine equine specimen. Yes, it is. Uh, hey there, partner. Listen, we're tired of your trouble in Deuce's way. What? I didn't induce any trouble. Not a bit. But now, let's not mess do this. Now, before I get into Dutch, <laughs> he's in the sheriff's office? No, he's in the, the, the building next to the sheriff's office. Um, break. I shall be right back. Now, before I get into Dutch with Dutch, and for you youngins, uh, getting into Dutch used to mean, um, getting into trouble. Um, I, I, I want to find a gunsmith. It's right there. It's right there. Is that the gunsmith? It's back around where that gal is, though. I don't want to get going with... I don't want to have to collect from her. Um, is this the gun... The gunsmith's around the back? Or is it up here further? Yeah, if I can do this without 
um, kicking off this collection on this woman, I'll be happy. I want to see that double action. I want to see how they treat it. Well, I'll be damned. You're back. What can I offer you? Um. Been a lot suspicious about the new faces in town. Rose the double action sure revolver. Let's, let's, let's look at this thing. Their way. So that's how they're treating that. Not, not all that good. Um, select it. Let's have them clean it and see what happens. Nothing. Components. A uh, barrel. See if we can improve things here. Well, let's go with length. That should improve the accuracy or the range. Let's go with um, let's go with long barrel. Rifling. This should improve. That improves range. The damage output on this thing is not at all impressive. Now, did he clean it? Um, what else can I do with it? Uh, iron sights. Improves accuracy, range. Damage is the thing. It's really weak. Um, grip. I want to leave the grip alone. I don't want to spend the money. Um, Grip's just fine. Um, ammunition. How much do I have of all this stuff? High velocity. We can buy some of those. Um, now, I did clean it, right? That does not need to be cleaned. Now, the rolling block, apparently, I did not upgrade. I, I, I did. I did upgrade the rolling block. Okay. Um, so, apparently, that's all I can do with this. Um... does not need to be cleaned. Well, shucks. Let's get on to Dutch. Let's take a look Thanks, at them. Barney. Can I compare them? I can't, I can't pull a gun here, can I? No. Um... Maybe when we get out on the road, I can compare them and see what the heck we got, what we're dealing with. The Greys had to substantially reduce their time at luncheon. Not sure what's going on. Wait. Where is he? He's in the sheriff's office? Hey, mister. Morning, partner. Morning, Dutch. What you got? Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend. American Arthur Distillation. Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Carthage, mm -hmm. you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? Oh, man. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. 
Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, some moonshine. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. What oh, Excuse me a moment. Is he going to puke? Oh, Sheriff. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst Deputies, these drunkards, what? hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're about. Hold it. Dutch? I'm going to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, oh bad, y'all. All right. You are back. Now, listen, sir. Here's three There sheets. is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. It is? And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. <laughs> I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. We're gonna go Not raid a, a moonshine still. You are in safe hands now. What are we doing? And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Oh, Sheriff, you Arthur, are a hypocrite. You are deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Can I call my horse? My, will my horse automatically come? Archibald. Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Talking about Trelawney. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Oh, Most this is towns awesome. just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work Look, these I days. Like but this Sheriff town. Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. A chain there of is? command? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you're us. a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So... These moonshiners. Yep, moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace. If they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather <laughs> expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Um, I want to know if I have a chance to compare uh, guns, but I, I guess I don't. I have to wait till this is done. That bad rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes, I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Got a couple of X's. Oh. Oh. Right. Follow this guy? What are we doing? Dear me, that don't look good. Oh, what happened? Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. No. This must have happened recently. You could try washing mm. once in a while. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead, 
Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Lemoyne? That's yeah, how you pronounce I'll that. Run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. I, I was trying to bring up uh, Deadeye, but I guess I don't have to. Um. Interesting. No, get on the wagon, boy. Would you mind taking right. the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Lemoyne. Poor I've fellow. been saying lemonade. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's okay. seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Huh? The nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Go right at the crossroads. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. Bear right again here. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Uh, before we get any closer, um, uh, um, how can I say this politely? Nature calls. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about something the about. Braithwaite, <laughs> I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Let me get a weapon, a rifle. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive. Understand. He said alive. Then take this operation down for good. Come on. He said alive. See what we're dealing with. So put away the gun. I didn't check my pistols. What am I equipped with? Um, let's switch these. I can't switch it. Um. Oh, crap. I don't have good pistols. Um, see? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, hell well, The way I said Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's mean. split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Um, I'll go left. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Okay, the red dots. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out Use and radar tie them to up. avoid detection by moonshine. Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Uh, so that white part is their line of vision? The white cone in front of them? Dutch 
reach over on the other side. Get back down, Roger. He can almost see Bill, man. Bill is in his line of sight. Get him, Bill. Think you take this one, Bill. With pleasure. Just be one more, Arthur. Okay, I'll get him. I'll get him. Um. Where is he? Where is he? He's right there. He's right there. The back is to me. I don't know how to do a takedown. Is it gonna cue me? Is it gonna cue me for a takedown? Well, <laughs> I thought he was going to do what Bill did. Oh, Lord, just crack him over the head. All right, well, I don't want to drop and carry him to the wagon. This is cool. <laughs> I do like it. <laughs> Just piling them up here. Just drop him with the others. Okay, now what? I think that's it. Yeah, well, we're done. What do we no, do now? We got the still. We better destroy all this. I thought he'd say Any that. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Explosives. Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about the... <laughs> that is the last time well, I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. What do I do? Well, um... We got red up there. Years ago, they was... Oh, to select the dynamite, open the wheel, LB. Acres or more. Okay, we, we, it's it's there. I don't I don't want to put up my hand right now, do I? Babes. And, well... Okay, as long as you done light it. Now we um, we got to go to that red area. Bill, get down. Um, how do I get to the red area? Around the cur around the corner here. We don't want to get spotted. So, is yeah, the stills right here. Uh, RT to place the dynamite. Sure. Just a second. And run. Get away from there. Did I ignite it? Oh, now we got trouble. The Lamorn Raiders, you sons of bitches! Shit! We are men over here!
Maybe there's something wrong with that. No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when our friends notice the shine's gone. Trouble coming on the radar, so I'm gonna leave. I should probably be looking at the radar. It still looks clear. Radar looks clear. building. I turned to die. It's alright, I'm coming. A bunch more guys to loot. Ah, where's Dutch? Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. <clears throat> ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others. Hypocrite. You know what I mean? You hypocrite. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid. <laughs> Back water, so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I? Can I uh, get my hat? Oh, it's on the horse, isn't it? Stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? Um. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. I tried to put the hat on, please. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. Wow. I ain't okay. planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Huh? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Ah! Okay, on my word. Set, go. Yeah. 
watching. So good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never hey. knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. You know, when you get to be mine. You will. I had fun with you today. You're, I was going to say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. to speak to me she is yellow however I really want to get <laughs> you know what I want to do I want to get this gunslinger taken care of and off the dang map Molly is yellow so she'll stay she'll still stay there um, let us um, let us eat if food is ready and um, I still have to get the layout of this camp uh, memorized um, or learned, uh, the food might be ready. Are you well, Mr. Morgan? Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're driving me to despair. Why? No gratitude and no manners. This younger generation, it saddens me. The world is ruined. Mr. Escuela, so is judging others, my little friend. Well, I should get back to it. Ain't nobody care. Jack's walking around with exclamation points and somebody else is walking around with exclamation points. Those are people that, that want me to find something for them. I think what we're going to do here is um, oops is um, man, Molly um, 
See, if I keep doing all this stuff down here, I'm never going to get that gunfighter. So I think what we're going to do is uh, take a nap. I can find my place. Um, where's my tent? <laughs> I'll get I'll get the lay of the camp here eventually. I'll get the lay of the land and figure out where the heck everything is. But um, I think he needs a little rest. Okay, so I'm down by the river. Okay, I got it. Right by the pier, the dock there, the little pier. Mr. Morgan. Morgan. Reverend. Hello. 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 What do you want? I'm not. Go spit I'm it not out. I'm quite sure. Oh. This oh, keeps happening. Okay. Um, we're going to rest, and I believe we're going to head up. Oh, we'll rest until morning. We're going to head up to get that gunslinger just so I can get it off of my mind and to get that, get that complete. So, uh, smoke them if you got them, boys. Mm, all right, I think, um, uh, yeah. You know what I'm going to do first? Um... Um, upgrade my camp so I can fast travel. We have not done that. And to be honest with you, I I prefer riding around. It's not that big of a deal. But we haven't done that. So let's see what that's all about. Where did he come from? I don't know. He just wandered in. Hi, my friend. Um, 320 I, I don't have the money well I do I mean it would take some of the camp funds it would next in line Arthur wants and that would take all my money then I'd be completely broke but I do have all that um, some trinkets and stuff I mean not trinkets but you know jewelry and stuff that I looted and uh, the fa I know the only fence I know of is over there by in the Valentine area. Um, I guess we hold off on that, um, though. Um, I don't want to deplete the camp funds. Oh man. Um, you playing lawman? I do that sometimes too. <laughs> um, so I guess what we're gonna do is head out. We're gonna head out for uh, Flockle. So we'll set a course for Valentine first. And I could get supplies there. That's why I didn't want to spend the money. Um, I'm going to need supplies. So let's see. Oh, Kieran. Kieran, Kieran. Oh, he wants to go fishing. And, the, and I do want to do that. But, man. I have got to. Um, I got to get rid of Flocko, man. I just do. We're gonna need supplies, and we'll get that in uh, in Valentine. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> Here, eat some of this. And I do want to switch my weapons around. So we got a long run here. Yeah. It's not that. Actually, it's not that far. Molly, I'll get you when I come back, girl. All right, let's, let's, um, actually, you know what, let's make that the 22.
let's make this Springfield so we can do some hunting and I do not want the Mauser in my right hand that's Granger's boy that does a lot of damage and I don't want the cattleman actually it's not a bad the double action the fire rate um reload condition um well let's give this a try Touchy. They're touchy. I just bumped him. Yeah. What I'm thinking, um, I know you guys don't mind the long the long videos, um, but what I'm thinking is, because we're already over an hour, um, yeah. if we can get Flacco taken care of, then I can do. Man, I wanted to check that out. I can I can do um, I can get two up today. You see. The problem with the longer videos, for me, is time. It, um, a, a, a real lifetime. Um, it takes a long time to export, upload, and process. Uh, you know, the longer the longer the video is. So um, I, I don't mind putting up, you know, two-hour videos, and you guys seem to like them. And um, help me, help me, I've been kidnapped. Well, that's fine. Stay back. Do I still have my badge on? Hold on. Easy. Do I still, am I still? Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Okay. I like that. Um, I'm just saying, um, by the time we get Flacco done, um, whoa, 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 whoa. we're going to be at two hours. And, um, and that's going to take me like another three hours uh, to get it uh, on YouTube. Yeah. But then I would have time. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, you know what? We could use some. Um, I'm just saying it would give me time to, to maybe get two up. I wonder what would happen if we went back to the old camp grounds. Yep. Whoa. I just nicked it. It turned its 
head just as I shot. I don't think it's gonna drop. Wondered like if we go back by where the old um, so up now. Uh, campground was, what it would look like, you know. I just wanted some food. You okay, girl? Good work. Yep. That campfire, William. Come on. Girl. No. See, she's too close to the. I hit Y to skin it, and it ends up uh, doing that. Put me on the horse. Just wait a second, girl. You know what else I didn't check was to make sure uh, that we still had the um, the winter the winter outfit. I think we did. There we go. Bridge up here that you guys are. Um... Wow, must cover some ground on a horse like that. Yes, sir. Hey, partner. Um, that I need to check out. Um, that I have neglected to do the last time because I thought it was the uh, guy that wanted uh, to challenge me to a shooting match. You know, shooting the uh, the jars and the the bottles and the pottery off of the you know target practice. And um, several, hey, there it is, it's the black X down there. And several people in the comments said, you, you need to go look at that. So let's do, let us do. Um, what am I getting into? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. You guys. Oh my. Um. 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 Holy. Uh, what do I do here? Um, don't get that blood on you, son. What do I do here? Oh, look on my works. Um, what do I do here, guys? I mean, you wanted me to come here, and, um, that's just a horse. Um, is there something I'm supposed to get here? Uh, um, stranger. Okay, let's follow tracks. Um, which way? Um, this way? I'm guessing because I came from the other way. Holy crap, you guys. Holy crap. Uh, 
Um, can we bring that back up? That's where it ends. Um, nothing to pick up here. Oh. So the other way? Goodness gracious. What is this all about? Um, the tracks don't go any further. Um, I mean, well, there's an X down there. Well, that's him. Or what was him. A map to something? Killer clue one piece. Put it away. torn map pieces to uncover the mystery. Oh, wow. Severed head. Uh, uh. <laughs> is still there. Did I miss something? is out of whistle range. Well, this is my horse horse. This is my Oh! I know what they mean. I heard that. It's a horse that um, I was using to um, Come on. follow me Give around. A nickel. Give me a dime. Same Give me old something. Valentine. I want to go buy some supplies and um, think, a lot to think about here. Um, I'm still thinking about that exchange with Dutch after the horse race. That was an interesting shift and it really touched Arthur. Still thinking about that because up till then it seemed like we were um, he and Dutch. How you doing? Were um. How are you, ma'am? Not a glad to hear it. Who said hi? Um, we're we're getting along worse. How you doing there? And. Uh, Hi there. These people Hello don't remember there. me, huh? Hi there, mister. Howdy. Uh, I'm, 
I, I need to pause Partner. and gather my thoughts. Because we had that exchange, Easy. that very tender exchange with Dutch. And now this um, mutilation. Come on in. Got everything you need. Have a look. Yeah. The place is still only just recovering from that bloodbath. Next time Cornwall can handle his business in some other town. That bloodbath was uh, me. Um. Ain't no other outfit beats their prices. Provisions. I am. I don't know what to think. Man. We'll get some uh, food for the. That's done. Horse. Thank you. Look at the color on that. Uh, I've never bought anything like this. Nice. Um, man. Mm-hmm. Because we can make coffee in camp now. Head is spinning, you guys. You guys got my head spinning, man. Ah. I hear the old cuss that owns the stables got into a hell of a fuss with his old lady. Enjoy. Nice. All right. Man. I'm, my head's spinning. My head's spinning. Um, oh, we could buy some new outfits. Maybe, maybe uh, spiff him up some. Thing is, I don't know what these look like. A paisley vest. <laughs> Whoa. Parisian vest, an opulent vest. Being the main store in town, people come to depend on you. Well, old boots, he's got some really crappy boots, man. Riding boots. Is that the only choice? No. Preacher. Quick draw. Um. Used to hike up Citadel Rock all the time when I was younger. Just don't have the energy no more. Like that? Yeah, I like these. Um, but we're gonna pass. That should be good. Um, I was wondering about a horse medicine. Is what I was wondering about. We got oat cakes. Horse reviver. You must be out of it. Um, that right there is great for your horse. Yeah, but you, I can't buy it. Uh, maybe I can get some in the stable. Um, I gotta pause and think, guys. My head is spinning. I mean, we had that. 
So we had kind of a turn there with Dutch, and then that mutilation. Give me a minute. Break. No, I can't sort it out. I don't know. I'm really. Uh, we got to get that butcher, but we have to. We have to get a another. Uh, hey there. Hello. Another piece of the puzzle. Um. Now, aren't you sweet like candy? Let's see if we can get some supplies in here. Um. Welcome. My head is just spinning, you guys. I'm gonna get some beets. Uh, nice. Some celery. What I'm looking for. I'm gonna get some hay. Enough? Alright. Um, this is what I was looking for. And the whole town is out of it. Um Get these horses fed and water until you get Let's back. see how much I have of that stuff. On me. Do I have any miracle tonic? Two. Three of those. I'm looking for stuff for the horse. I don't see any. I don't want to. I don't want to take anything right now. All right. Let's head on up to Flacco. Now I don't want you to think I'm 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 complaining about um, um how long it takes to make um, videos. I'm not. I, I'm just saying. I'm trying to figure out. In fact, whoa. I'm trying to figure out. Can I? Can I examine this? No, I'm not going to search the saddlebag. That's a pretty horse. Um, I'm just saying I'm trying to figure out a way uh, to get them up quicker, you know, and and maybe do two in a day. That's all. I'm, I'm not complaining about making them. Hunting, hunting, and we got our pistols. All right. Oh, put that pistol away, son. I didn't mean to jump off the horse. Um, come on, start. Yep. Let's get up in the snow. Crazy dude. Be gone. Be gone. Be, be gone. <laughs> you know, I know what to do with that guy. I mean, I interacted with him uh, two or three times. And I can't make heads or tails out of what to do with him. I'm tempted to just, um, Lasso him and bring him to the sheriff. Because the man needs help. I mean, he needs to be in a sanitarium. Doesn't he? Order. I go drawing my gun on those guys by accident. Every time I do something to help my honor, I do something else to hurt inadvertently. Yeah. Some 
greenery to pick for the horse. There'll be plenty of game up here. Oh, we need two elk. We need two uh, perfect elk pelts. Perfect. I just remembered. Okay, let's uh, let's change outfits. We don't freeze to death. Also, a white Arabian that I found on my own. You guys told me where the red one was, and I blew that. You told me where the uh, star was. Uh, the um... yep. uh, warped brindle, and I got her. But I found the white Arabian. Okay, hold up. Okay. Some game. There. Um. On my own. It's a buck. I'm just doing it for the meat. Because me we're going to be up here for a bit. Um, I want to see if the... Um, put your gun away. I want to see if the... Um, the white Arabian is here. Because it's my understanding that that is the goat best horse in the game. Let's go, girl. Um, and there's probably going to be a bunch of debate about that. Um, yep. Um, but I don't, I think the thing that is undisputable is that she is the fastest horse in the game. So when it comes to horses, I mean, you, you know, get what you like for your own style. But for the style that Arthur has, uh, he needs the, he needs speed. Star's been my chapter two horse. Yeah. I think what we'll do is um, nice job. make the white Arabian. I keep my eyes out for her. The chapter three horse. See what I'm thinking? Look at this. It is beautiful. Now, if she's down there. Well, we want to get Flacco first, I think. But, well, you know, the thing is, when she shows up, it's like, you got to get her. Um, and when I found her, I knew nothing about um, how to tame a horse. And I completely blew it. Same with the red. Arabian. So, I should probably be focusing on Flacco. Um, I shouldn't be thinking about the horse. <laughs> okay, Flacco. Gunslinger. Quick draw. Which I've only done uh, twice. One's with Granger and one's with um, um, Billy Midnight. And uh, so I've only had two opportunities. Look at this. To um, do it. So I want to do it well. Flocko. Yep. what we're looking at here. I don't think we need a three-star ram. But it, uh, it is. Oh, you again, girl. So we can get some money for the yeah. belt. I can get some meat.
I know, girl. Just give me a second. Perfect. That we don't need that for the satchels. Why is it telling me to drop it? I do not want to drop it. Hey there, girl. Good. And her health is really um low. Um, let's get her something that'll help her a bunch. Like carrots. It didn't work. Like carrots. There, girl. There we go. Yeah. Okay, it's lock over getting close. So this is why I don't really see the benefit of a fast travel mechanism in the game. Because it's so much more pleasurable to ride. And it really doesn't take that long. I mean, we've basically gone from the southern, almost the southernmost part of the map to the northernmost part of the map, and it doesn't take long at all. So I'm not really seeing the benefit of a fast travel situation. I guess if I... Well, yeah, I do. I do. I see it. If You know, if you're not making videos and you, you want to get to a certain point quickly to do a certain thing. Yeah, but that's not what I'm doing. Um, whoa, whoa. Easy there. Is that, what is that? Is that our first? Yeah, that's Coulter. Uh, that is where we, uh, oh, and here's our boy. And that is where we, uh, we, st we, 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 we started. Um, we had that big yep. old, that first really big hairy fight. Whoa, 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 whoa. We now. need a three star elk. That very well could have been one. Let's get Flacco. And, um. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to be up here for a while anyway. I mean, we might end the video after Flacco. Um, unless I spot the uh, White Arabian real quick. Plenty of food um, while I'm up here. Oh, I gotta do it one at a time. Spooked the heck out of my horse. She didn't throw me though. Uh, it's gonna be nighttime. Let's um, let's calm her down. That's all right, Star. You're all right. We'll camp and we'll be uh, you good, girl? Flockle. In a moment. Just a one star. Uh, a wolf is not on the list of what I need. Oh, it is. We need a three-star wolf. Holy crap. Okay. So I am going to be up here for a while. Uh, I need to get a three-star wolf. I can get that up here. I need to get 
two three-star elks. They're up here. Raccoon Panther and Squirrel are not. I don't think. Uh, not up here. Where's my hoss? Um, so I'm going to be up here for a while. And, and so probably like on the next video, we'll be hunting for those uh, three-star pelts and for the uh, uh, White Arabian. Now he's real nearby. Um, let's go ahead and make camp. I want to hitch her. She won't let me hitch her. Um, well, let's just make camp. Beautiful. Look at that. My goodness. Woohoo. Really nice, huh? Um, recipes for this? Look at this. Yeah. All right. Look at this. Man, you can make a Christmas card out of this. We'll stow this one. Let's get this pork that we paid for. Coffee before bedtime, right? Um, what did I hit? It didn't give me a time to sleep. What did I do? What happened? What time of day is it? Okay, it's morning. We're good. Uh, before we go on up there, uh, quick break. All right, so get focused here. Note to self, lightly press RT and then fill in with lead. Lightly press RT. That quick draw stuff, man. All right, let's go get him. Get her good and calm. You done good, girl. All righty. Get on the trail to him. Yeah. Well, he's right up here. I mean, what? The, why is the trail taking me this way? My farm's that way. Uh, where's the red? Am I off the red? Well, no, I can pick it up if I go straight. So he's just um, east of Coulter. Well, shoot. not get there from here? Is that the problem? I need to be on the red. I don't understand. Whoa, something just dropped. 
dropped up there. We're having yep. some render problems. Oh, yeah, it was okay, just a, a little bit of lag. We don't need lag when we go get this guy. Get him on the first draw. Aha! Oh my gosh, he's got a big old camp. Are you kidding me right now? I see. Um. Is that him? Well, it won't, it won't identify him, will it? Guy walked behind a tree. Oh, there's another one. Ah, oh, okay. Well, we just go up to talk to him, right? We tell him we want to get some um, information for that writer. So we're not going to search the camp for Flacco and Dante. not here to pick a fight with the whole crew so hopefully he will be like Bell and cooperate hey who's that you're in the wrong camp stranger um diffuse I don't mean no harm okay holy Just cow wanna speak to Hernandez we don't like visitors up here kill this fool what? Are you serious? Dude. Wow. How do I do this? You don't want to die for Hernandez, do you? Take me to him. I got some questions to ask. Ah, uh, okay. If it's just questions, he's up in the cabin. Not Watch work. it, people. Stranger in the camp. He ain't going to be here long. But now. I'm surrounded. I'm watching you go real easy. Blanco Hernandez! I don't want any trouble. I'm here to speak with you. About Boyd Calloway. I'm unarmed. <laughs> he says with an arsenal. <laughs> I just want to talk. My boy Callaway. Sure. Here's your message. Call me. No more. Now I'm surrounded. They're running. They're running. Corey, don't those Corey. They're running.
spec document. What I get. What I get. Treasure hunters. Hold for details. Flip. Flip. Reopen map. Why? So it looks like an Indian head rock and then in a hollow stump somewhere. I can get here. They ran. Uh, um. So I still have an axe over here. I already picked up the gun. Am I supposed to loot him? I mean, the X is still there. Is there something I did wrong? Um, it's not complete. What? Oh, camera! I'm supposed to take his picture. <laughs> I'm completely uh, um, 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 I'm brain farting on this. not uh, completing it though um, why isn't it completing it um, why isn't it completing it camera is too far. Got him. is in a fog. Um, first, that thing with Dutch um, kind of kind of started it, where for the first time he showed sincerity in caring about Arthur. Up to that point in in the play through here in the game he's been insincere it's it's been phony baloney stuff you know I, I mean it started off uh, with that right from the get-go when we're up there in the blizzard and they had just had that um, failed um, Blackwater thing and Davy died and uh, they talk about it Davy's brother and then one of the women died and they're they're starving and they're freezing, and when they come out to go um, find Micah and uh, John, 
Um, Arthur says to Dutch, you know, what really happened back there in Blackwater? And Dutch said, we missed you. And that's what started it with me because that's like Dutch didn't take the blame. Arthur wasn't even there, but he blamed Arthur, you know, in a, you know, the way a narcissist would, you know, um, you know, what happened back there? We missed you. So like it was his fault. And then it was the train robbery, the first train robbery that went haywire because um, the, the dynamite didn't blow. And um, again, Dutch blamed Arthur. Arthur even said as much. He says, oh, it's all my fault now. Then we had to run and jump on the train. That was a lot of fun. Uh, it was crazy, crazy, crazy. And then so forth. And then, so now here, there was genuine affection for Arthur. So that's in my head. And then we go and find a Texas t chainsaw massacre. And, you know, I'm like, okay, what, what, what is going on? What is going on? And um, so then we go up to get Flacco. And I shouldn't have done that. What I should have done was just stopped playing. You know, not stop making a video, but just stop playing uh, for an hour and get my get my head clear, and I didn't do that. I, I just went right on up there with my head in a fog. We come up on Flacco, and I tried to defuse it and got myself shot to pieces. So I had in my head, uh, well, there's just there's two other options here. Um, we go up there and agitate them, you know, threaten them, and say say you know what he said and that worked uh, if that didn't work what I was going to do the only thing I could think to do was take a position on the other side of that frozen pond and uh, take them from long range you know just gun all those guys down from long range make them have to come across that frozen pond to me uh, you know hide behind that a boulder there or, or a tree but I didn't have to do that because uh, threatening them actually worked so then we gun down Flacco, but my head's in a fog. Uh, and I'm expecting to be surrounded, and they ran. So, you know, more, you know, jamming the, the, the brain waves, you know. And, um, and that, I'll tell you what, that, that, I'll, I'll tell you a quick story. Um, and this, is gonna, this is gonna tie in with that, um, about something very similar to that that happened in real life. Um, I had a restaurant, and I'm, we're at the restaurant. It's Friday night, our our biggest night. Uh, it's dinner time, uh, dinner rush. Friday night and Saturday night is where we make most of our money uh, for the week. And there was nobody in the restaurant. It's completely empty. And I'm like, what is going on? And one of the employees came up to me and said, um, "There's a gang parked in the parking lot." I said, "How do you know it's a gang?" And they said, "It's a gang." And I'm like. So they, so the main drag that goes through the town, you know, the main, one of the main drags, the street, then there's a sidewalk, and then all their cars were parked facing the street. So you got their cars parked, sidewalk, street. And so, well, I'll go out there and talk to them and um, ask them to park somewhere else because they're killing Friday night. And um, so I walk out there. And I talked to who I think is the leader. I was wrong. Uh, I didn't find that out until later. And, um, and I explained the situation to him. And um, he understood. And they started getting in their cars. But the leader, who was parked three, four cars away, he said, oh, hell no. You know. And uh, he says, it's uh, public property, man. We ain't moving. We can park here. And, uh, and, oh, and, and I said, look, you know, it, 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 you're scaring away the cuss. I'm, I just said the same thing to him, you know. You know, a gang parked here is scaring away my customers, and this is our biggest night, and, you know, I've got employees in here, and, and nobody's making any money. And he says, we're not a gang. We're a club. <laughs> and I said, well, 
you know, can you take your meeting? There's a vacant lot, you know, a couple of blocks away. Can you take your meeting over there? And he got agitated. And now I'm being surrounded. Just like what's happening here. And I think, okay, um, I can just bull rush the smallest one, knock him on his ass, and then just dance around the parking lot until the, the police come. Or... Uh, I can run out into the street, out into traffic, dodge cars, cause a commotion, and somebody will call the police. They won't come out into the traffic uh, after me. And that was the option I was going to do. But right before I had to do that, the booming voice of Joe Barnes cut through the night. I'll tell you about Joe Barnes. Joe Barnes was just out of the military. And I hired him as an assistant manager. And Joe Barnes in the military uh, was a Golden Gloves boxer. And uh, I knew that. What I did not know was that Joe had a reputation. Now, a reputation, uh, in, we would say he has a reputation in those days. Nowadays, I guess that would be called street cred, I think. I don't know if they still say that. So Joe Barnes, his voice booming. And I'll tell you exactly what he said word word because it is burned in my memory because remember I'm in a real dire situation here I'm about to get beat up beat you probably have to go to the hospital and um, well I wouldn't have because I would have run into traffic <laughs> you know tried to defuse it that way you know they wouldn't follow me into traffic and then wait for the cops but Joe Barnes says I'll tell you exactly what he said word for word and Joe Barnes had, was a muscular fella, very muscular. Like I said, Golden Gloves boxer in the military. He says, now the man asked you nice. If we have to ask again, we ain't gonna be nice. And he said, I mean, it was just, it just cut through the night air. And the leader of the gang, the club, turned his back on me and faced Joe Barnes. Joe, if you're watching, man, I love you, brother. I hope you're still alive. And, you know, anyway, um, um, the leader goes, uh, uh, Joe Barnes, is that you? Joe, yeah, it's me. And they got in their cars and they left. They left. Now, me and Joe, you know, I'm saying, you know, standing there next to Joe and I go, that was pretty crazy, man. You know, uh, it's still like, like at least like about seventeen of them against two of us. And Joe says, "Nah, wouldn't have been like that." He said, "It would have been me and him, and he knows I'd knock his ass out." That's exactly what he said. And I say, "You know that guy?" And he said, "He knows me." He says, "You might say I have a reputation." I said, "Well, thank God for that." So that, that's that story. Uh, the the, the, the tie-in was I took out the Alpha, and they all ran. And Joe Barnes threatened the and the Alpha knew that Joe Barnes was going to, you know, tear him to pieces. And they all left. Anyway, that's enough of that. And I think, I think I'm going to end it here. I mean, I'm going to stay up here, uh, look for the white Arabian. I need two uh, three-star elk pelts and a three-star wolf pelt uh so i'm gonna that's gonna take a while and that'll be on the next video so thank you all very much for watching i my brain is still in a fog uh <laughs> i should have stopped and just cleared my head before i came up here to do flaco oh and i said something there when i uh, uh, when i shot him i uh, um i said i said come plomo if for those of you who don't uh, know what that means in Spanish, it means eat lead. So thanks for watching. You all take care of yourself. I appreciate you so much. And I uh, will see you on the next one.